everyone. Welcome to lesson 3.5. We're going to take a break from decimals today and do some division. All right, because we need to make sure we do know how to do division before we do division with decimals. Okay, so here's your objective. I will be able to find quotients of problems involving multi-digit numbers. All right, quotients. That sounds like a vocabulary word. Let's check out our vocabulary today. Right here I have 240 divided by 80. And then my answer would be 3. But let's use math terms here. The 240 is my dividend. Everybody at home say dividend. Your parents are probably wondering why you're shouting out math terms at this point, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to divide my dividend by 80. That's called my divisor. Okay? And when I get my answer of 3, the answer when you divide is called your quotient. We're not going to always use all these terms, but it's good to know them if you see them. So divisor is a number that's going into your dividend. Your dividend is a number that you're going to be dividing something into it, and your quotient will be your answer. So let's do some division today. Right now, I have a horizontal problem, 351 divided by 9. All right? Um, I'm sorry, they're both horizontal. But this is 351 divided by 9. I like it better this way so we could actually do the work. Now, the 351 divided by 9. So this is, for me, it's kind of 9 goes into 351 how many times? This is 351 divided by 9. They're both the same problem, but you can't, this is the work way. You can't do the work over here. You could do it in your head, possibly, but this is the work way. So when I have this little house thing, or whatever you want to call it, I'm thinking to myself, how many times can 9 go into 351. Okay, let's see. Can 9 go into 3? No, it cannot. So I can place a 0 there. I can get rid of it. I don't need it, but let's put a 0 there. Can 9 go into 35? Yeah, it can. 9, 18, 27, 36 is too far. So back to 27, it goes in 3 times. And 3 times 9 is 27. Now I have to do some subtraction here. All right, 35 minus 27 I know is 8, all right, but if you want to do it out, you can do 5, oh, 5 minus 7 I can't do because it makes a negative number. So this becomes a 2, and this is 15. 15 minus 7 equals 8, and 2 minus 2 equals 0. I don't need to put it down. So now I bring my 1 down. How many times can 9 go into 81? You should know 9 times 9 is 81, so 9 times 9 is 81. I get zero remainder. My answer is 39. Now I could leave that zero there, but it looks kind of weird, especially with no decimal points there. So my answer is simply 39. Or not my answer, my quotient is 39. All right, just to know that we are going to be dealing with remainders with the rest of our problems. That one worked out quite nicely. But we won't be using remainders all year. We'll probably be using decimals for our remainders, okay? And then capping it off at the nearest tenth, hundredth, or thousandth. But today, we're the first day with division. We are going to simply use remainders, which is a little bit easier, okay? So good for us today. But we won't always do that. All right, a little bit harder numbers. 31. How many times does 31 go into 878? If I were to write it the way they probably would give it to you in your book, it would be 878 divided by 31, which really means how many times can that 31 go into 878? we got to write it this way. All right, so 31, can it go into 8? No. All right, can 31 go into 87? Definitely. Now, you can guess and check over to the side. You could say 31 times maybe 3, let's see what that turns out to be, 3, 9, oh, 93, that's too far, so I'm going to try 2 now, but some of you might be able to count by 31s, 31, 62, 93, so it can only go in 2 times, 2 times 31 equals 62, let's get some subtraction going here, 7 minus 2 equals 5, 8 minus 6 equals 2, 
Now I'm going to bring down my 8. Now I have to see how many times is 31 going to 258. Now is when you, it's going to be kind of hard to skip count by 31s up to that high. So you might want to do some good guessing over here. 31 times, let's see. Hmm. If I think about it, I'm going to treat this as a 3 and treat that as a 25. How many times can 3 go into 25? Well, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. S 8 times. I can't count my fingers. It goes in 8 times. So I'm going to try 8 first. All right, maybe I should go a little higher at 9, but I'm going to try 8 first. That will be a good guess. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So I have 248. And if I do another 31, it's going to be too high. Okay, so 8 times 31 is 248. Subtract that, and I get 0, 1, and there's nothing left. So can 31 go into 10? No. Well, it can, but there will be a decimal. So I'm just going to say I have a remainder of 10 for now. My answer is 28 with a remainder of 10. Later on this year, though, what you would do is you would start putting decimal points out, okay? And you're going to annex a zero there, and you're going to drop that zero down. And how many times could 31 go into 100? It would be three times, 93, and you would go from there and add more and more decimals until it finished, or I told you to stop. But we're not going to do it this year. Our remainder was simply, we're not, this, we're not going to do that today, I mean. So your remainder was 10, so it's 28. Remainder of 10 is the answer. Okay, I'll circle for you. All right, now I'll erase it. Here's our next example. We're getting a little bit harder, okay? I've got to do it, you've got to do it. It's not the most fun thing in the world, but we need to be able to do it. Later on, we could do these things with calculators, but for now, we got to know we know how to do it. Okay, so can 75 go into 6? No, it cannot. Can 75 go into 64? Well, it can, but it'd be, you know, It'd be a decimal. So no. Now, how many times could 75 go into 649? We have to do some good guessing over here. All right? You don't want to be sitting over here guessing all day. So let's, let's think about it. Let's be logic. Let's use logic. We can't be logic. 75 times 10 would be 750. So I'm not going to multiply by 10. Plus, my answer's got to be less than 10 anyways. So 8 or 9 might be a good answer. Let's try 8 again. 8 worked for us last time. Let's see how that works out. 8 times 5 equals 40. All right. What's 8 times 7? Do you want to count by 7s? Do you want to count by 8s? Or you might even know it. I'm going to count by 8s. Well, I know 8 times 8 is 64. Minus 1 8 from that would be 56. So but 56 plus 4 more equals 60. So that would be 600. 75 times 8 equals 600. And 600 plus one more 75 would be 675. So I know 8 is my highest number I can use. All right, because 9 would have been 675. All right, so 649 minus 600. And I get 9 minus 0 is 9. 4 minus 0 is 4. 6 minus 6 is 0. And I bring down my 3. And now I have to see how many times does 75 go into 493. Let's think about it now. Hmm, what would be a good guess? Now, a lot of you might be able to count by 75s. It's not a bad number. 75, 150. 225, 300. 375, 450. That's six fingers and a marker. So I'm going to go with 6, okay? And I'll do it out this way again if, for those of you who like to guess and check on some of these. 6 times 5 equals 30. 6 times 7 is 42 plus 3 more equals 45. 450. I will subtract that and get 3, 4, and nothing. So 6 was the number I used. 75 goes into 6,493. 86 times, but oops, but I have a remainder of 43. So it's 80 because 75 cannot go into 43 
unless you make it decimals, which we will do later on. Don't worry about that. But today we'll make it easy for you. We have a remainder of 43. So my answer is 86 with a remainder of 43. Now you have two problems to do for me this evening or this morning or whenever you're doing this. Midnight, I don't know what you do. Okay, so 736 divided by 8. Let's make sure, I'll rewrite this for you. Let's make sure we do it as 736 divided by 8. How many times can 8 go into 736? All right, and this one's written out the work way for you. How many times can 19 go into 7,814? All right, show your work in your notebook. So let's not get out the calculator and get our answers. You could always check and see if you're right. But if you do it in a calculator, it's going to give you a decimal. All right, I want to see your remainder answer. Good luck. We'll see you soon.